Okay, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Bree Speaks, where with me, your host, Bree. So before we get into today's topic, let's take a little bit of catch up. Well, more of a rewind. So first and foremost, I miss you guys so freaking much. OMG. Your girl has been busy occupied and of course dealing with some mental health issues that you know we will talk about later because of course it ties into the topic for today so let's um again you know play a little bit of rewind your girl has been oh my gosh not going through but in a bad way but with omg mm, so much to tell you guys like so i moved I moved, no longer live with my mom. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Um, I have my own car. Also, double thanks. Glory be to God. Two times. I'm alive, breathing, healthy. My kids are fine. All of those good things. Unfortunately, your girl also lost her job. <laughs> but I do have a new job, paying a decent price. So I'm very happy. Blessed three times. Thank you, Lord. Three times for that. Um, I am also interning with Ramoski Love. If you are a Chicago head, if you are Chicago, if you are born and raised in Chicago, anywhere in like the 90s, early 2000s, you know who Ramoski Love is. He's like a freaking legend in Chicago radio. If you don't know, you gotta find out, okay? And of course, Big Pop. I wouldn't even be in Ramoski's face if it wasn't for Big Papa. And if you don't know, Big Papa is a legend within himself. Okay? 24 years in the industry. 24. Blessings on blessings. And look, I'm only hoping and praying I get to see 24 years in this industry. Even more. Okay? So, on top of all of those good things about me, intern, I have met some of the... Oh, some of the most amazing people. Kenny Lattimore. Oh my gosh, he is such a sweetheart in person. Uh, Carmichael. Carmichael, he's tall. He's strangely tall. But he is such an amazing person to just shit. To, sorry, not shit. To sit and talk to. That lisp is really getting on my damn nerve right now. Um, I've been to the concerts. I've seen Joe in concert. Listen, Joe still got a job dead ass he still has it and as of recently i've met stokely listen people that you see on tv when you see them in person it's like damn it's either damn you short as shit or you tall as hell like stokely me him so out of eye i'm like damn i could have sworn you was a little bit taller than this it's still okay though because you still cute you still you still <laughs> you still thin hello um but on top of all those good things, I have been learning a lot. Oh, I'm slow. So the station is the FM Omni channel. You know, your heartbeat for soul. And they play a lot of steppers music, old school music, vibe music, blues, some gospel. It's really a vibe ass station. Like dead ass. It's dead is definitely a good vibe station. And I'm there with them in the morning, sometimes completely Sunday through Saturday. Sometimes, depending on the week. Um, but mainly Monday through Friday. And I'm learning a lot because for those that do not know, I did go to the Chicago, um, Illinois media school in downtown Chicago for my TV and radio broadcasting, um, certificate. And I did acquire it. Yay. So happy. So proud of myself. Um, and with that, so many things I know are coming for myself. My biggest thing is, and I'm pretty sure everyone is going to tell me, you have to put out content. Yes, babe, I hear you. I hear you in my head now. You have to put out content. I get that. Your girl be tired. And on top of being tired, I go through a lot of mental things. So huh, it's not all that easy. If you have, if you experience any type of mental anything be it anxiety depression any of those things you know where i'm coming from you know exactly where i'm coming from okay but i have to say that the journey to where i want to be it's not all that easy but you know what 
I have the support that I need behind me to push me every step of the way. Even though sometimes they, they, they some bullies, but it's, it's understandable. I have a dream. So, and I want my dream to come true by all and any means. So I get it. I understand it. I respect them for it because they don't have to do it. Okay. Um, my oldest one has graduated high school. Woo, 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 woo. Shout out to my big man, Z-A-C-K. Zach, you know, mommy is very proud of you. My youngest boy, my youngest boy, Malachi, Mikai, he is a sophomore in high school right now. Lord have mercy, time is flying by way too damn quickly for me. I needed to slow down just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Slow the pumpy brakes down just a little bit for me. For me, I'll be grateful, right? <sighs> I need I want more kids, guys. I really do. I want a little girl so bad. <sighs> so, so bad. Babe, I think it's time for us to start trying. I'm ready for another baby. All right, so <laughs> that's my mini catch-up session. All right, now on to today's topic. Ugh. Today's topic, it's not a bad one. So let me not do that. It's not a bad one. So I deal with anxiety and I deal with depression. But outside of that, we all go through down periods in our life, right? Where it just seems like everything is going to shit completely. You lost your job. You, you you know, you're not in your relationship no more. You really love this person. You have to move. Kids ain't acting right. Parents ain't acting right. Ain't nobody listening to you. You feel alone. You have no money. You have no, no needs of transportation. You barely have food. Your job is acting the ass. Like, it's like everything is just hitting you all at once and it's almost as if like somebody put some voodoo on you or um some might even say that god just ain't on their side right now and and i get it i get it because for the longest that's how i felt i felt as if geez like I can't catch a break nowhere. At that time, me and my mom, we were living together. We couldn't see eye to eye on anything. Um, on top of that, dealing with past trauma with being with my mom my whole life. And then I couldn't get a job. But then when I did get a job, all types of crazy things was happening. So I couldn't get my money right. Um, at the time I didn't have, um, a vehicle. So now I'm trying to get around the right way. And it, listen, when I say your girl was, ugh, and even still, even now, because even, even right now, um, being that my old job, let me go and I'm starting a new job. My rent right now and hold on sidebar the way this rent is set up nowadays this is not the rent our parents paid listen because there's no way that for a two bedroom twelve hundred dollars is the need the max like bruh don't get me wrong i like my apartment it's nice i kind of needed it in a rush because of my situation so i'm not complaining glory be to god i was able to find it thank you jesus however twelve hundred Fix it, Lord. Okay, back to the main topic. I get it. I get when things hit you all at once. You don't want to get out the bed. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to deal with anything because it's like shit. Can't shit get worse. I, I have been there. I have heard that. I have said that, and I have to. I have to be that voice to let you know. It gets better. It does get better. And I'm not going to sit up and tell you like, oh, you just got to be positive. And da, 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 da. no, no, no. You have to fight through that shit. <laughs> you have to fight through it. 
And when I say fight through it, I mean you crawling in the mud, you going through bombs, you fighting whoever getting your way. You, I mean, you throwing bows, baby. You going head, you going to war. Because at that point, your sanity is at stake. Your well-being is at stake. You making it through is at stake and you know sometimes it's like you don't want to talk to anybody about it because you don't want to be that burden on someone again that is me (laughs) that is me all the time I never want to be a burden to my best friend or my man or my teacher you know my teacher shout out to big papa I, I I never want to be a burden to any of them and let them know what is going on in my mind because my mind can be confusing even to me and it's my damn head. <laughs> Don't let that go over your head. I'm going to say it again. My own mind can be confusing to me and it's my own damn head. Completely. Don't be understanding half the time. But I do know what it means to have to fight through the bullshit and you make it out being all shiny and cute. (laughs) If everything was given to us easy, if we got everything so easy, we wouldn't appreciate that shit. And anybody who says that they would, that damn lie. You was a lie. You was a lie. Because there's no way you're going to sit and tell me that if you got everything that you wanted, you would be a humble person. That you would know what hard work meant and stood for. I highly doubt the fuck out of that. Use, use a lie. Use a lie. Use a lie. Because I know why. Mm-mm. So, and today's episode is not going to be that long because I know I'm getting, I'm just getting back into everything. And I know y'all are like, well, you always, you know, you take a little bit of a leave and then you come back and then you want to give us these long episodes, baby. Uh uh-uh, uh, because y'all ain't finna cuss me out about it. Mm-mm. I'm not going to give y'all no long episode today. I'm going to give y'all something just to wet your whistle a little bit because I have to prepare for my upcoming episodes with a couple of celebrities yes when i say your girl been working your girl has been working so can i name drop just yet no but you know when i get everything together i will be letting you all know i don't keep anything from y'all i don't gatekeep also so to keep up a little bit more with everything that I have going on, y'all know to follow my socials, Bree Media on Instagram, Bree R-G-M. It stands for Radio Gaming Media, okay? Also, oh, almost forgot, y'all can catch me on my radio show. It's on the AMP app. Of course, Bree Media. I'm currently looking for a name for it, guys. I'm trying to, I want to keep it cool, something for everyone to remember. But then again, it's like, eh, I don't know. I just don't know. I was thinking about late nights with Bree, but then it's like, you know, late nights might not be such a good fit. So who really knows? But I am on the AMP app. It is A. M P it's under Amazon. So if you have an Amazon account, all you have to do is sign into it and then look up Bree media (sighs) guys. I, I want to say, I appreciate everybody that listens, everyone that keeps up with me, encourages me, look out for me. Um, I am looking for sponsors. So if anyone wants to sponsor, the podcast or the blog or my streaming or the radio show. I would be humbly appreciative of everything. Um, For everyone who likes, shares, 
comments on everything. I am completely grateful for you all. And I'm going to be able to show it to everyone real, real soon that your support is not wasted by any or no means. So with that all being said, I want to thank you for listening. Keep your head up. Though times are hard, though times are dark, though you might not see the light at the end of the tunnel, it's there. Like I said, you just have to fight your way through it like you find a motherfucker on the street. You have to fight through it. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But guess what? Fighting could be just getting out of bed when you don't feel like it. Fighting is eating. Eating something. Fighting is walking outside and going about your day. Fighting is saying, you know what? This is out of my damn control. Move around. Fighting is letting that negative ass motherfucker go. Fighting is choosing yourself first. Fighting is knowing that it's a higher power. And though you may feel like you're alone, you're not. I welcome everybody. Hey, you feel some type of way? You can hit me on my Instagram. You can hit me on Twitter. You can hit me on Tumblr. (laughs) You can hit me in my email. Like, y'all, I have the amount of love I have for each and every one of y'all is unlimited and unconditional. So, this is Bree signing off. And just keep fighting. You got this.